Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. If you're new to flying drones, or even if you're an experienced drone pilot, I am sure you'll find these 10 practical tips will help you have a better day. Let's check them out. Number one, check over every inch of your drone before flying, especially the important bits, propellers and batteries. Run your fingers over every prop surface. If you find a nick or a crack, change the propeller immediately. These are the things that keep your drone in the air, so they better be perfect. And inspect your battery before and after every flight. If you see any cracks, leaks, or any swelling at all, dispose of the battery according to your municipal waste regulations. Batteries cannot be repaired. Number two, speaking of batteries, only fly with fully charged batteries, or well, over 95% full anyways. You should be planning to land with 25 to 30% of your battery charge left. So if you start out half full, you don't have much flight time to play with, particularly in the winter. Which brings us to tip number three, RTFM. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Yeah, you really should read the manual. It will tell you what your drone can do and how to do it. So when the captain says, take us out of orbit, Mr. Sulu, we press all the right buttons and don't accidentally blow up the Enterprise. And that gets us to tip number four. Know your drone's temperature and wind resistance limits and respect them. If you're going to fly in really cold weather, realize that your battery will drain much more quickly. Same for the wind. Fighting a strong wind takes a lot of energy. Take that into account and leave yourself plenty of margin to get back home. Speaking of wind, number five tip is to learn how to estimate the wind speed by looking at things like trees and flags. Sure, your app probably gives you a wind speed, but wind varies massively from place to place. So learning the telltale signs for the maximum wind resistance of your drone makes a lot of sense. I don't expect you to know the whole Beaufort scale, but knowing that, for example, a DJI Mini 2 can fly in winds up to level five, which is 29 to 38 kilometers per hour, helps. On the Beaufort scale, level five is called a fresh breeze. Flags will be flapping straight out, but fairly gently. Small trees will begin to sway. And if you're near the water, you'll see lots of white caps. And don't forget, wind is usually stronger at higher altitudes. Which brings us to tip number six. Absolutely set an appropriate return to home altitude for your area of operation. Not sure how high those trees are nearby? Well, just set your camera to horizontal, rise straight up until your drone is level with the tops of the trees, note your altitude, and add a decent safety margin, like 10 meters. While you're up there, take a slow rotation to see if there are other obstacles. Looks good. So in this case, setting my RTH to 35 meters should be good to go. Tip number seven. If your drone shows any signs of acting wonky when you first take off, drifting, going up and down, making more noise than usual, land immediately and figure out what's wrong. Drifting or an off-kilter horizon are sure signs of needing a compass or IMU calibration. Take a minute to do those, both of them, and an unusual noise may mean you have a nick or a crack in a prop. Check them again. Tip eight, if your drone app gives you a warning, read it and actually take the recommended action. If it says the wind is too strong and you should land, guess what? The wind is too strong up there. Tip number nine, know the drone rules and regulations for your country and follow them. Here in Canada, there are a ton of strange rules. The Drone Pilot Canada app makes it easy to know your airspace, who to contact for permission, and has all the checklists and procedures that Transport Canada expects you to have. It can really help. And there may be an app like that for wherever you live. Finally, tip number 10, fly alone. I know this will sound strange, but unless you really need someone with you as a visual observer, fly alone. 
you get a bunch of drone pilots together, you know there will be shenanigans. Racing, competition, you name it. Stay safe and fly alone. Well, there we have it. 10 practical tips for safe and happy drone flying. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.